Show number 2123. What up? Ryan show number 20. Hey, three. Ryan show number 20. Three. I just ate a hot dog. Hello to all 40 of you. We're gonna jump into some news, so watch out! <sighs> a man in Germany last week was arrested for trying to impersonate a firefighter. Ah! He saw smoke from his apartment building in Berlin. He rushed the fire station, got helped into protective gear by unsuspecting firefighters because they were so wrapped up in this emergency. He got on the truck with the fire with the firefighters. He drove to the scene, you know, burning building, not a firefighter. He drove to the scene with the fire truck and helped to put out the the um. After everything was said and done, they realized that he wasn't, you know, an actual firefighter. Now you're thinking to yourself, Ryan, why was he arrested? Isn't this worthy of not getting arrested? The reason he got arrested is because this man was <laughs> drunk. So I have a question for you guys. What is the craziest thing you've ever seen a drunk person do? This will be a funny one. Send me a text or a video response. Yeah. Time for a transition! A woman in Chile was arrested the other day for pole dancing on the subway, taking off clothes, and what have you, anything that goes along with... Hey, pole dancing. She did this because she wanted to challenge the prudishness of Chilean society. The Chilean media named her La Diosa del Metro. Good name for a uh, stripper. She danced on the subway every single day for an entire week. Now, she also says that this is not over, that they're starting something that's going to keep on going to test the uh, Chilean society. Now, I find this funny because here's a stripper that's starting a prudishness movement. Now you may be wondering why this video is getting put on the internet so late. Well, let me tell you guys that I just went on an amazing adventure. I have been to four stores today trying to get myself a new iPhone. Um, three of the stores were sold out. The fourth one that I went to, I waited in line for... 45 minutes to an hour only to have them sell out as I was second in line. Damn it, high demand of phones. I'm Obama. Let me pick up where I left off. My final bit of news today comes to you guys from Greece, where nine women are facing prostitution charges after they were paid to participate in a sex competition. What? What? Huh? I don't understand. The nine women all were on vacation together. They went into a hotel on their first day of the vacation. And they were approached by some men who asked them if they would be willing to participate in a sex competition. They'll get paid and it will be put on the internet. And they did it! I honestly do not know what to think about this story. Um, kind of funny, actually. 
crazy grease. To read up on all the stories, check the links in the description over here. That's all I have for you guys today on Tuesday, July 15th, 2008. Sorry, the video was a bit long, but um, I just had a lot of stuff to talk about. So I will definitely see you guys Thursday. Um, until then, have an awesome Wednesday. All right. See you later. Missed it. Please subscribe to my friends over at because they deserve your views too.